to Johnny Cochran's ex-wife. My next guest says that her marriage to Johnny Cochran was like a living hell. This is Barbara Cochran Berry, and we just asked her before the commercial break if you could describe Johnny in one word, what would it be? She said, can I choose two? What are the two? I think a lot of people have been speculating out here. I would say a brilliant liar. <laughs> oh, not a lawyer, but a liar. Yeah, what did he lie to you about? Now, you know, me, a lot of women are going, honey, he's a man like the one I know. But uh, what did he lie to you about? Well, first of all, he came on national TV and said he had never touched me. And Johnny was physically abusive, and of course he was mentally abusive, you know, during the whole time we were married. He had a mistress, and he and his mistress had a child, even while he was still married to me. Oh my goodness. And Did this was the same mistress also, Rolanda, that he had denied all the time. And now there is a child from a mistress who never existed. Oh. So it was kind of... Uh, frustrating and of course it was humiliating how old is the child now 23 what? Mm. and are you in contact with this child I mean did it ever come I mean has he ever acknowledged this child oh yes from the beginning uh, all the years that he denied the mistress had passed and then one evening he came home and told me Barbara I have a son now and I was so stunned and shocked and hurt, humiliated, embarrassed, all of it, that I just, I didn't even talk. I couldn't believe that he had had a son during the time he was still married to me with another woman. Mm. And all of these things. But this was just one in a series of many things. How did you find out? Because, because you know, the, the, we've seen him in action. The man is good with an argument. He, does, he doesn't lighten up, you know? Yes. I, when you said the mental games, gosh, I wonder what in the world did you go through? Yes, it was a very difficult marriage. But in those days, you stuck it out because it was the thing to do. And your friends and relatives told you, Barbara, you have a man who pays the bills. Just stay there. And Just you have he's a big there. attorney. He's got, you know. Yes, you have this big home on the hill, the live-in maid, and all the trappings of nothing. So they're telling you, just stay there, but inside you're hurting so badly that you finally realize there is no way you can live this way the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. So you have to make a decision. And after 17 years, I finally made a decision. I decided I didn't want to be lied to the rest of my life. There is anything that hurts more than, than right. being married and somebody cheating on you. Oh, yes. Um, it was hurtful. It really was. And then when you talk to them about leaving, you know what he told me? Yeah. He said, Barbara, you will never make it in the real world, not even for six months without my money. Oh. Oh. So that was part of the mental game playing. Oh, absolutely. And many women are told the same thing by their husbands and their